Good day, good people. This is Phil and in this tutorial I'm going to talk a little more about functions and a special operator that we have here, which is called the splat operator. So this is not new to version 7 of PHP, but it came with version 5. Still, this is an interesting thing that not many people know about and this is why I'm going to talk about it now. Now, what is the splat operator? Let's take a look. When you declare a function, you can use the splat operator to create simpler variadic functions. These are functions with an undefined number of arguments. You can also perform it in reverse when passing arguments into a function and this is argument unpacking. We will see just now what this is. Now, first th things first. Let us create a function, this is not important right now, Let's create a function, okay? A function that takes arguments like, well, like you know it in the past, okay? So for example, we have a function with the name addition and this takes two arguments, let's say A and B, okay? And all this function does is it adds two numbers that you pass to it. So for example, it echoes out a plus b. Now when you call that function, between the parentheses, you can go ahead and give it two numbers. Let's give it two and three now and see what happens. Big surprise, we get five, okay? That's all the function does. But what if you wanted to give it more than two arguments and maybe beforehand you do not know which arguments you are going to pass or even how many you're going to pass. Let's say you wanted to add, to call this function with two, three and five. If you refresh now, well, you still get five because it's just gonna go and ignore the third argument here, all right? And for this thing, for this case, we have the split operator and all the split operator is, is three points. So you would go ahead and do this. This means that you can use an undefined number of arguments. You could also go ahead and erase this. So you just have the three points. This is the split operator itself and then a variable, okay? So now you go ahead and you can, well, you can add all the variables that are passed in because the number is no longer defined and that is highly practical, okay? Now, how, how would we do that? Well, first of all, we, we cannot do it like this. We cannot just go ahead and echo out b plus b because this doesn't work anymore. And the reason for that is that we have to iterate through these values because it's an array now, okay? So if you wanna echo it out, you cannot go ahead and just do this, b plus b, because, well, <laughs> first, of, first of all, this would um, tell us, you see it here, array to string conversion. And by the way, these are two arguments. And the use of the split operator is that you do not know how many arguments are being passed actually, okay? So you need to go ahead and iterate through this array because all the things that you put in the function now are being passed as an array. How do we do that? Okay, the typical thing to iterate through an array is a for each. Let's first of all go ahead and create a sum. Let's say the sum is zero, okay? And then you go ahead and create a for each loop. We did this before, the for each loop has the only goal to iterate through an array. And then you tell it for each b as the temporary variable number. Go ahead put the curly braces and in the next line you add it to the sum, okay? So sum plus equals number 
and all that means is sum equals sum plus number. All right, and then out of the for each um, loop, you gotta echo it out, obviously, because or return it because we we need the uh, the result here. Okay, that's all there is, and then you can return the sum or echo it out. I'll just echo out the sum because otherwise we would have to echo it out outside of the function. And now when you refresh, you get 10 because two plus three plus five is 10. Let's add another argument like six, should be 16 now. Here we go, all right. And well, that's the cool thing about this split operator that you can pass as many arguments as you want to the function, okay? Very handy, but bear in mind, that whatever you pass to that function will be an array now. 